My name is Diane and I'm one of the social workers and what I'd like to do today is number one ask some questions just to get to know you better okay. and then I have some questionnaires to do to see how your mood is and how you're feeling about life these days and also to do a screen about your memory see how your memory's doing and then I might have one or two other things to do with you also depending on what we talk about mm -hmm. all right okay okay um, first of all I'm going to ask you if you can write your name and your birthday. All right. So you just had a birthday. Yes. Happy birthday. Thank you. Did you do anything fun? <laughs> no. Same old no. day, huh? Same old thing. Uh huh. Okay. Um, Miss H, can you tell me where we are right now? I know we was at St. Louis U. That's right. And and uh, I know we're in a basement. Mm-hmm. And do you know about what time it is? Uh, it should be pretty close to twelve o'clock. Mm-hmm. Okay. And how did we get here today? Uh, one one of the transportation buses from Pace. Good. Okay. So, Ms. H, um, I want to get to know you just a little bit better. Can you tell me who you live with? Oh, I live alone. Do you? Do you live in a house or an apartment? Apartment. How do you like it? Uh, it's okay. I, I do. Mm -hmm. Is it an apartment for older people or is it a mix of ages? Um, it's supposed to be for the seniors, but everything is there now you know really is that a problem oh he has to keep up a lot of noise oh yeah uh -huh. so the younger folks liven it up a little bit with more noise and oh honey you would think they're coming through to the ceiling <laughs> really do you have trouble sleeping because of it oh gosh well miss h it's horrible is it were you ever married no. No? Did you ever have a significant other, like a long-time boyfriend or partner? <laughs> no, not really. No? Okay. All right. Do you have any children? One. One. Boy or a girl? Boy. Yeah. Does he live around here? Uh, they live out in the county somewhere. Okay. All right. How do you get along? Me and my son? Mm -hmm. um, we're okay because we don't see each other. Mm -hmm. If you saw each other more often, would it be harder to get along? Um, it won't be too bad, but he just, you know, he's working with the Red Cross and I can't, I can't see him. Mm -hmm. Neither his wife, but we talk. Okay. Sounds like he's busy. Oh, yeah. Okay. You're too busy. Do you have friends that you hang out with? Mm hmm. Pretty much so. Do they live in your apartment or? No, Eunice is the only one living in my apartment. Okay. Building. Okay. And where do your other friends live? Are they in town? They in town, but they all scattered. Okay. How do you stay in touch? Telephone. Telephone. That's right. Do you like to talk on the phone? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. All right. I can talk for hours. <laughs> it's really nice to be able to keep in touch that way. Even mm -hmm. someone who lives across the country, you could talk with them every day if you wanted to. What kind of support do your friends give you? And not any as I can see. Mm -hmm. It's just a source of enjoyment for you. you just run our mouths, that's all. You just run your mouths, okay. Do you have a faith community, like a church or a mosque or anything like that? Oh, yeah, I go, I go to church. Mm -hmm. Is that an important part of your life? 
Mm -hmm. It is. All right. Are you able to get out to services and church activities, or is it hard to do that? It's kind of hard now. Mm -hmm. What makes it difficult? Well, I, I can't stand too long. Mm. To, like to wait on a bus. Right. You know, and I don't get to go that much. Does your church have one of those vans where they can pick people up? We got a whole bunch of them, but they stay down mostly. Really? They're breaking down a lot? Yes. Mm, okay. And I know sometimes people use the call -a ride program through the public bus system to get to and from? Ah, uh, yeah. I, know, I, I haven't did that yet. That might be an option. Mm -hmm. We could think about that, okay. Do you have other things in the community that give you help, like Meals on Wheels or an emergency button you can push if you have trouble? I, um, I get the Meals on Wheels. Mm -hmm. And I know this one one telephone thing, you know. Mm-hmm. What does the telephone thing do? It's the, um, uh, it, it, it would, you know, when time for me to take my medicine, it would, would, you know, say that. Okay. Oh, so you have, uh, phone that has a reminder system. Uh, yeah, reminder. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. How does that work? Does it help you? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it hard to operate? No. Okay. It, so what happens? Like when it's time for you to take your medicines, does the phone ring and you pick it up? or? Uh, yeah. And what, what remind me to take my medicine. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. And do you have your medicine set up in pill bottles or in a container with the little squares? I have the little squares, but now um, someone does it for me at the clinic. Okay. So they send you home with a, we call it a Medipack, with the little yeah. squares? Yeah. All right. And so if you had some kind of emergency, who would we call? I assume my granddaughter, because I think her, her name is on there. All right. And... Does she see you very often? No, uh, she works too. Okay, but she's the person you you would have us call if you had some kind of yes trouble. Yes. Okay. All right. What's her first name? Ashante. Ashante. Okay. That's pretty. And the she, last name is Lee. Is she your only grandchild? No, I got two others. Two others. Okay. Do you have anyone in your family or friends that help you with things like grocery shopping or paying your bills or other chores like that? Mm, no, I, I do my own little, little thing, you know. Okay. Paying my bills, going to the bank. But I have to have uh, somebody to assist me, to take me, you know. Okay. And who takes you? Anybody I can. Mm-hmm. You flag people <laughs> down at your apartment and stuff? Uh, no, not really. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, Eunice is somebody from her church usually take me, too. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. And with the, you said that walking is kind of hard for you, and so mm -hmm. do you have trouble getting around in the store or doing things that requiring standing, like vacuuming and things of that nature? Uh, yes. 
but I do try to do it, you know, mm -hmm. on my own. Okay. All right, do you have a home health aide that comes to help you? Uh, yeah. And what kind of things does that home health aide do to help? Well, she, she does my wash. Mm. And she fixes me food, which I have in the house. Okay. And so just little stuff like that, you know. That sounds like a good help. Mm -hmm. Especially laundry can be kind of hard, especially if you use a walker trying to get the laundry and yourself down at the same time. So she can handle that. Yeah, but we go up. Oh, do you? Your washing facilities are upstairs. On the second floor. Okay, all right. So, Mrs. H., how much schooling did you have growing up? Really not too much. No. You learned to write, it looks like, because you have nice handwriting. Oh, I try, I try you know. Mm-hmm. Can you, if you had to write a letter, could you do that? Um, yeah. Okay. And do you read? Somewhat. Do you ever read for fun? No. No. I watch television. You watch TV. Okay. Are you able to read the bulletin at church? Uh, no, not really. Mm -hmm. Is it the print is too small or is the words too hard? Well, I'm not seeing that well. Okay. Yeah. You know. All right. So your vision is also something that gives you yeah. trouble. Yes. Okay. Is is it something besides needing glasses that gives you trouble with your vision? I thought it was, but uh, I don't know. I was just at the doctor the other day, so he. Mm -hmm. Have they ever seen I got drops and stuff that I have to use. You have drops. So do you have glaucoma? I'm not sure if that's what he said or not. All right. But I know he put dyeing stuff in my hand and, oh, I took out all that stuff off. Did he? Okay. And, um, or do you have like a retinopathy? Does that sound familiar? Or cataracts? I think I got a, a cataract. I'm not too sure what what they said. Okay. What does it look like when you try to look at something? Do you have parts of the of what you're looking at that are cut off? Like, does it look like you're looking like this, or is it gray, kind of like you're looking through a cloud? Um, no. Sometimes it's just like. Like I'm looking at that picture mm -hmm. there, you know, I can see that very well. Can you? Okay, all right. Is it harder to see close or far away? This seems closer. Mm hmm When you're trying to look at something like this, is it hard to see? Uh, no, not really. Okay. So what did you do for a living? What do I do? Or what did, did I do? What did you do? Oh, I used to work for uh, Kelly Assisted Living, and I used to work over at the hospital here. I was in the cafeteria. Okay. Did you cook or serve or some of both? Um. I used I used to do a little cooking, not the big meals. I used to do um, those big super burgers that everybody liked. Uh huh. French fries and stuff like that. Okay. Everyone came for Miss H's super burgers. <laughs> yeah, it seemed like I had to hold the thing here, you know, because <laughs> everybody came over. It's nice to be known for a specialty, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Um, 
What other things did you do with the cafeteria? Oh, I have to clean up my mess. Uh-huh. Okay. And so you worked for, you said Kelly. What Kelly is, Assisted Living. And what is that? That is a um, place where, where they send you out to, to work with the elders and mm -hmm. what else I do there? Just a, well, just like the the girls there at at the pace, mm -hmm. you oh, know. Okay. I did stuff like that. You know? Oh, so you were like an aide. Mm hmm. Okay. So you, it sounds like you've done a lot of things that had to do with people. Are you a social person? Not really. No? Mm -mm. You like to keep to yourself? Mm -hmm. All right. How did you manage in jobs where you had to interact with people a lot? Oh, I did what I had to do and that was it. Okay. All right. Did you ever serve in the military? Oh, no. No. Okay. So what's the most important thing to you in your life right now? Most important thing now? Mm-hmm. Hmm. I have to think about that. Okay. <laughs> it's a big question. I sort of like coming to pace. Do you? Because I like to get on those machines. Oh, in the exercise room? Mm-hmm. Okay. What do you like about the exercise? Oh, I just like, um, well, you know, that, that one thing that, that we have, um, you know, you pull the, uh, the bars and stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. I like that. Do you? Is it yes. kind of like uh, weights? Do you pull it this way or this way? Some of it you pull down, and then the, the one thing that I especially like that I get on and, you know, that, that I don't know really what it's called, uh -huh. okay? Uh -huh. What part of your body do you use on it? Um, it my, my um, you know, the thing you hold on to and you do it with your feet. Oh, like the bicycle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it seems like a lot of people's favorite to do that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, it's nice to feel free in movement when you have trouble walking and you can just get on the machine and you don't have any troubles. Yeah. That's a good feeling. It is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, if you could change one thing in your life right now, what would you change? Uh, I would like to walk better because the problem is, is my right leg. Okay. What's wrong with your right leg? It hurt a lot. In fact, it's been years. Oh, so it's been an ongoing problem right. for you. Okay. Um, do you take any medications for pain? A little taller now. Okay. All right. And um, I see that you have special shoes. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Diabetic shoes. Yeah, diabetic shoes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you have gabapentin, which is usually for nerve type pain. Have did have they ever told you that you have neuropathy in your feet? Um no. No. Okay. Um oh and you have tramadol, and that's also a pain medicine. So you have a couple things to try to help with. Ah, uh, yeah, but I, I'm not using that anymore. You don't use it? Okay, why'd you stop it? 
because, well, the doctor decided to do something else. Okay. How does the pain medicine work for you? It works pretty well. Mm -hmm. Do you have pain right now? On my right leg, yes. Okay. Does that ever go away? Mm -mm. No. So that's a constant presence. That's a constant thing. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, persistent pain like that can be really hard to deal with. It hurts a lot. But then after a while, you get used to it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Does it prevent you from doing things that you enjoy? Um, yes, because I would like to be able to go shopping, spending my little money. Yeah. That's always fun. What do you like to spend money on? Clothes. Clothes, girl. I oh, I there. love clothes. Okay. <laughs> What's your favorite store? Um, I usually go to the fur gallery. That's downtown in the gas building. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Sandy's. Oh, I've never heard of it. Oh, you should go. Good stuff? Oh, yes. Well, that's great. It sounds like fun. She's a little high, but... Is it? I like her, her you know, merchandise. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Have you always been into fashion? Oh, I love fashions. Mm-hmm. But I can't do anything about it now, you know. Why not? Because I can't stand that to walk around like that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now you see, I be sitting all the time. Uh-huh, <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, it does it. When you have pain or your mobility is limited, it makes doing fun things harder, doesn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, have you ever had an illness with your emotions? like a depression or nerves? Oh, I get, get a little nervous sometimes, yes. What makes you feel nervous? Oh, I don't know. I guess, I guess something just happens. Mm-hmm. Does it come over you out of the blue? I, I'm not too sure. Okay. You just know that sometimes you ha feel nervous. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you ever see things or hear things that other people don't see or, see or hear? Oh, no. No. Okay. Um, and do you drink alcohol? No. All right. Do you use drugs? No. Okay. Have you done any of those things in the past? Uh-uh. No, never? No, no. Never been a drinker or a partier, as they say? No. Okay. All right. And what about prescription medicines? Do you ever use prescription medicines? No, this is all I, I use, what I get from, okay. from PACE. Okay. Have you ever used prescription medicines in a way other than how they were prescribed? No. Like use extras or oh, no. use your neighbors or something like that? Mm -mm. No. I don't like that. Okay. And how's your appetite? I got a good one. Do you? Oh, yes. What's your favorite food? I love to eat. Okay. Do you eat past the point of feeling full? Um, I used to. Mm -hmm. I used to really eat, but well, since I've been at pace, I don't. Mm -hmm. Because they ain't going to give you too much. <laughs> <laughs> if they'd give you two plates, you'd take it, huh? Oh, yes. All right. So do you have a favorite food? I 
Not really. Are you partial to sweets or meat or? I love sweets. Do you? And that's what I shouldn't have. Uh-huh. Why not? It's fattening. Oh, because it's fattening. Okay. <laughs> and how do you sleep at night, Miss H? Pretty good. Are you able to fall asleep easily? Even when I decide to go to bed, yeah. All right. Do you like to stay up late? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What do you do? Watch that All right. And do you stay asleep the whole night, or do you wake up sometimes in the middle of the night? I wake up sometimes. What wakes you up? I have to go to the bath. Okay. Bathroom. Okay. All right. Do you have trouble falling back asleep again mm -mm. after you use the restroom? No, no. All right. How many times a night are you up? A couple of times, or three. Three times? Okay. Do you have any kind of treatments that make you have to go to the bathroom more? Oh yeah, you have a diuretic here. So, and, oh, and that's twice a day. So, that's, also, that's why I'm going so much. Mm-hmm, yeah. And especially if you take it at night, then it's working throughout the night. And so, you have to get up to go to the bathroom because that medicine's helping get rid of extra fluid. Oh, yeah, because I have to, I have to get that fast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's helpful to ask the doctor if, what's the earliest you could take your second dose, because if you could take it in the early evening instead of at bedtime, say, maybe that would help with getting up so much to go to the bathroom. Yeah, it's kind of a bother to get woken up all night. Oh yeah, you know? I don't I like that, but I know I have to get up. Right, right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you have any trouble with accidents? Do you ever not make it to the restroom in time? Oh, I have. Uh-huh, okay. Are, are you able to handle that somehow, like with an incontinent supply or something like that? Oh, yeah, I got a bunch of stuff that I get from you guys. Do you? Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And then do you sleep to a good hour, or do you wake up early and have trouble going back to sleep? Uh, no. I, well, I wake up early, and then I would leave it for a while, then I would get up. Because they pick me up so early. Okay. So you're up early because you're waiting for the van to come. Mm -hmm. All right. Can you sleep in on the weekends, or is it just too much of a habit? Um, I can sleep in, but I like to get up and try to run around a little bit. Mm-hmm. Okay. When you feel down, what do you do to help yourself feel better? Nothing, really. Nothing? Do you ever eat to feel better? I used to eat a lot, but I don't eat anymore since, since I've been at Pace. I don't do that. Okay. Did you ever go shopping as kind of a coping skill if you're feeling oh, down? I, I can't do that now. I used to okay. do it all the, t <clears throat> all the time. That might be something for us to think about is if there's times when you feel kind of blue, could we come up with some new things you could do to help yourself feel better? Because it sounds like the things you used to enjoy like maybe having a meal or going out shopping a little to lift your spirits, you're not really able to do anymore. I play, you know, the radio. My radio goes 24-7. Do you? Okay. What kind of music do you like? I like mostly the church uh -huh. services. Okay. Not, is it the gospel music mm -hmm. or is it more the oh, spoken yeah. services? Gospel. Gospel. All right. 
Um, does and it? A little of the other too. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Some, you mean like turn on the rock and roll station or something like yeah, that? Yeah, I listen to that too. Uh huh. You like all kinds of stuff. It goes on too. Cool. Um, does it ever lift your spirits to talk with a friend on the phone? Um, I talk so much, Del. I, I don't know. Okay. All right. I know when we get on there, we don't get off. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Once you get started, there's just too much to say. Okay. So, Miss H, if there were a fire in your kitchen, in your apartment, what would you do? I try to make it to the window. Would you? What floor do you live on? First floor. Okay. All right. And um, what else could you do if there was a fire besides get to the window? You know, I hadn't really thought about that. Mm -hmm. Because, see, like my window, all you need to do is just step out of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a good exit strategy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you know the number for an emergency? I mean, that's what? 911 or 411? One of those two. Mm -hmm. It's 911. 911. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Um, what if you were home by yourself and you had chest pain that went into one of your arms? What could you do? I hadn't thought about that. Mm -hmm. I really don't know what I would do. Mm -hmm. Is it something that would alarm you or not? I would wonder about it, yeah. Okay, okay. What do you think chest pain could mean? I used to think it would, um, I always thought about gas, you know. Uh-huh, but, sure. But then again, it, it could be a heart mm -hmm. thing, and, but I don't, I don't really know. Yeah, you're right. Sometimes people have pain in their chest that comes from indigestion, mm -hmm. and sometimes it's from their heart. Okay. Um, one thing you could do would be to call the doctor if you were worried about it. Hopefully you never have to be in a situation uh, yeah, like that. Yeah, you're right. Mm-hmm. Okay.